Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Ryan and welcome back to a brand new video today. I'm just bringing you a quick bit of news regarding Leon Haslam and his World Superbike wildcard in Qatar next weekend. He will be riding that bike on the 28th to 29th and the 30th of October for the final round of the World Superbike Championship in Qatar. He's had five wins in total in World Superbikes and he'll be looking to make that sixth this weekend. However, it's going to be a bit difficult for him. He's had two wins with Aprilia in 2015 and he finished P4 in the championship. And then he had three with Team Suzuki Alster and he finished P2 in the championship. I believe that was 2010. He's had 38 podiums, 15 of which were seconds and 18 were third. He's had three pole positions in his World Superbike career and six fastest laps. Now at the moment, Leon Haslam rides for JG Speedfit GB Moto Kawasaki and he's actually contracted with Kawasaki and not the team itself which is a good thing because that team has gone bust that team will not be running next year it's been announced that it is not running next year and Haslam is signed for Kawasaki so he could be riding the team Pedocini bike which is the team that is wildcarding on for Qatar, he could be riding that full time next year, or he could be going to a team like Galen Kawasaki, bring British Superbikes, or if the chances of Johnny Ray and Tom Sykes make a move, which I don't think they have, they've signed for next year, he could be on there. But this is the team that he's riding for. This is Saeed Al Soleiti. I don't know. He is from Qatar. And he's come from a CEV background. He rode Superbike and Motor 2 CEV. He's currently sitting 33rd in the championship. So, yeah, the team's not maybe the best. Sylvan Barrier, he is a double World Superstock Championship. One in 2012 and one in 2013. And he currently lies P20 in the championship. So, yeah, not the best of uh, seasons for them too. But that's the team that Haslam is wildcarding on. Now let's move on to a bit more of a bigger topic just to end the video. Okay, so the main talking point for the weekend is the battle between two Kawasaki's between this man Johnny Ray and his teammate Tom Sykes. Now Johnny Ray currently has a lead of 48 points. He stands on 462 points and with 50 points left in play, obviously the one race on the Saturday and then the race on Sunday he could wrap the championship up in Saturday's race unless he crashes. Basically, all he's got to do really is beat Tom Sykes because all he needs is two points and he's got the 50 or three points to get 51. Now, if Johnny Ray does do that, he will be the first rider to win back-to-back -back world championships since Carl Fogarty, who won it in 1998 and 1999. That's a stat for you ever since it's been like... Troy Bayless, Troy Corson, Neil Hodgson, Colin Edwards, Tom Sykes, and then Johnny Ray, obviously in there as well. Max Biaggi in there as well. But this man, Tom Sykes, has got a lot of work to do, I think. He's got he's got to finish in front of Jonathan Ray. But he's not really going to claw back 48 points in two races unless Johnny Ray crashes in both of them and Tom Sykes takes the win in both of them. But Johnny Ray's not going to do that because he knows what he's got to do. He knows that all he's got to do is finish the race in front of Sykes and he will be world champion 2016. And as I said, the first rider to win back-to-back -back championships since Carl Fogarty in 1988 and 1999. This is how the schedule looks for the weekend. You can catch it all on Eurosport 2. Saturday, it kicks off at half three. This is UK time with the World Superbike qualifying one. Qualifying two is at five to four with World Super Sport SB1 and SB2. And then the World Super Bike Race 1 is at six o'clock. Sunday, the World Super Sport Race is at quarter past four. And the final World Super Bike Race kicks off at 6 p.m. Where we would probably have already crowned Johnny Ray the world champion. And yeah. Hopefully, Leon Haslam can get on well in the World Super Bike class at Qatar. And hopefully, we'll have a great battle between Johnny Ray and Tom Sykes. To determine who comes out as the 2016 world champion. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit like and hit subscribe. The question of who the is going to take the world championship? Are you hashtag team rate or hashtag team size? Let me know down in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and goodbye.